the demon cat that haunts the U.S. Capitol. Let's delve into this intriguing legend. It tells the tale of a spectral feline appearing only during times of disaster or widespread turmoil. Picture this. The early 1900s, the U.S. Capitol undergoing renovations. Workers laboring through the night report sightings of a large black cat, its eyes a menacing, glowing red. This isn't your typical stray cat, oh no, this is the demon cat, a creature shrouded in mystery and fear. According to the whispers passed down through generations, those unfortunate enough to cross paths with this apparition are cursed, destined to suffer misfortune. A chilling thought, isn't it? Despite the passage of time, these tales have stubbornly clung to the hallowed halls of the capital. Whether it's a product of fear or something more supernatural, the demon cat has left its mark on the U.S. Capitol. Over the years, the demon cat has made its presence known, its appearances aligning with times of national distress. As we delve into the annals of history, we come upon the year 1949, a year fraught with the tension of the budding Cold War, an era of unease. It was during this time that a journalist, while covering a story in the labyrinthine halls of the U.S. Capitol, reported a chilling encounter, a large black cat with eyes that glowed a fiery red in the dimly lit corridors. This sighting, coinciding with a period of national anxiety, seemed to lend credibility to the legend of the demon cat. Fast forward two decades to the year 1969. The United States was rocked by a period of political turmoil, unrest and upheaval were the order of the day. Amidst this chaos, another sighting of the demon cat occurred. Once again, the creature was said to have appeared during a moment of national distress, reinforcing the belief that it was an omen of disaster. These two instances, etched in the pages of history, have intrigued, terrified, and fascinated those who have dared to delve into the mystery of the demon cat. They have served to highlight the alignment of these sightings with periods of unrest in the country bolstering the claims of the legend. These sightings, whether real or imagined, have further entrenched the legend of the demon cat in the lore of the U.S. Capitol. The demon cat, real or not, is more than just a chilling tale. This spectral feline has woven itself into the very fabric of our nation's history, prowling the corridors of power with an eerie presence that serves as a stark reminder. A reminder that even within the hallowed halls of the U.S. Capitol, there are corners that remain shrouded in mystery tinged with the supernatural and bathed in the uncanny. This story, this legend, has endured throughout the ages, passed down by those who claim to have glimpsed the cat's haunting red eyes or felt its chilling presence. It's a tale that continues to resonate, echoing through the marble hallways, casting an otherworldly shadow across the grandeur of the Capitol. In spite of the skepticism, the whispers persist. Some still claim to see the demon cat, keeping the legend very much alive. They speak of fleeting shadows of a sudden chill, of a feline figure that appears and vanishes in the blink of an eye. These accounts, whether born of imagination or reality, serve to breathe life into the legend, ensuring its survival in our collective consciousness. So the next time you find yourself in the U.S. Capitol, keep a lookout. You never know when the demon cat might make its next appearance.